Hey there, welcome to The Breakfast Club. How's it going? I'm late again. This is Kazoom. Yes, late again. I was watching a hangout a little earlier tonight on someone's channel who doesn't normally have this person there. It was someone else completely hosting on someone else's channel. But there were people that I recognized in the side chat and, you know, things were cool there. The people that were talking, and you can't tell anyone who's talking because there's a, there's a video game playing in the background. I don't know who's who. Can't tell any of that. But there's this person who just refers to people as losers and degenerates and somewhat like a frat boy mindset, somewhat like a, uh, you know, imagining what Trump would have been like in his 20s if he's as, you know, still as bad as he is now. How much worse was he before? It's someone who will take just very, very little information and make ju judgments as if those judgments are actually objective and not just subjective. Like, just, there it is, instant judgment, first impressions, instant judgment, and that's what it is, and that's how he'll think of everything from that point on. Not very open to new information to show that his original idea of something was false, but if someone does somehow just blatantly show him, hey, uh, no, uh, this is just not the case, then he'll sort of pretend that he always felt the way that the person was describing. So he never has to admit that he was wrong about anything. It, it'd be, it's like the peer pressure you feel in high school, that you'd feel at, at a large university. There are these certain ways that you're supposed to be, if you're a guy, you're supposed to do all this shit talking. You're supposed to do all this bragging and posturing. And, and, and this person just exemplifies all the worst things about it. And he's gaining subscribers like crazy. He's only been on YouTube uh, for, what, eight months or something like that? Already has close to 2,000 subscribers. Pretty big uh, increase in subscribers just off of that much time. Now there's others who obviously have gotten a lot more. But it's just knowing that if you're an asshole, you can really get places on this platform. And people like those quick judgments because, oh, it's witty. But, you know, it's, it's like... Well, you know, once you get past this certain age, you're worthless. Ha 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 ha, you're worthless. If you haven't done X by this time, well, ha ha ha, you're a loser. If you feel that you should be able to live life outside of, of regular social standards, you, you want to have a life that's a little different. I mean, different communities will have different ways they live. Um, there are elements to the gay community that, you know, with different values, sometimes different ways of living. There are some cases where there are different lifestyles because, well, you don't have to live according to the rules of, of straight society because that's not what your life is based on. It's not based on having kids. And, and and raising a family. Though for some people it is, some people make it that way, but that's not normally the standard, right? And so this person would refer to, you know, anyone who comes to a different standard, well, they're a degenerate. Just, it, I, I, and I'll get to, well, you know, he's just shit talking. It just seems like someone who, both the YouTube personality and who he is in real life, is someone who, you know, if some old person fell, and he knew that they weren't going to die or anything, but some old person fell and they got hurt, and, uh, you know, if it looked just a certain way, they'd just stand there laughing. I had never had the feeling, because I sat through the whole, the whole hangout, and I'd never had the feeling before off of someone that's online, where it's like, I feel like I'm a deer in a forest that... Uh, it's at a geographic location that allows hunting. And I'm in a deer in a forest and I hear a human. That fight or flight sort of response is what I experienced the whole time. It's just there strong looming over me. And I'm just like, wow, just wow. Never had I experienced it that strong with someone before. It just, it's, and I'm just like, and this is popular. And I guess that's what scares me the most about if Trump were elected, because that kind of mindset would increase by a tenfold, because those people would feel 
What's the right word? They'd feel vindicated. They'd feel like, you know, they're the, the good ones. They're the right ones. They're the, you know, the, that, that whole... You know, Rush Limba has a lot of that sort of thing going on, too. And just a, a major increase in that. And that kind of, that terrifies me. I don't want to see that start to happen in our culture, in our everyday life. I, I can handle the shit being on the internet. But if that shit starts pouring into real life... Fuck. You know, should I have to go back in the closet again? I'm not. I would rather die than go back in the closet. But what, you know, what, what's going to happen? And out of the these sorts of judgments people are making, are things going to become more segregated out of that? Yeah, I'm scared. And I'm scared of Hillary potentially starting a war with Russia. In addition to all the things that she'll just continue uh, from the Obama administration and several administrations before. It's just like, just when, I, when, when I'm thinking things are going to, to really get better, at least in some way, just some things getting better, you know, socially, and I see this stuff creeping up, and it terrifies me thinking that this sort of thing could become an everyday occurrence in real life. Because if that becomes that way, I, I'm not as scared of, of other people on that. I'm scared of how I'll react. If I start receiving that kind of thing in person... I'm likely to do something that will land me in prison. And that scares me a lot. Because I can foresee myself looking at those who look at others, the ways that some of these people do, and the way that some of these people treat others. And I, I could picture myself, you know, if I've re experienced this in real life, I could picture myself no longer looking at them as human. That scares the fuck out of me. The fact that I know that I could, I could look at people like that. Bullying is the problem with all sides. Christians would be fine if, you know, as long as they don't bully. Muslims are fine as long as they don't bully. Atheists are fine as long as they don't bully. Feminists are fine as long as they don't bully. Anti-feminists are fine as long as they don't bully. Democrats are fine as long as they don't bully. Republicans are fine as long as they don't bully. But as soon as we have this, start getting this mindset that bullying is okay, and we have some, some figurehead for the country being of that same mindset that bullying is fine, what is our society going to become? And how am I going to react to it? Thanks for watching.